Welcome everyone to Judas with Just Commentary, Sweat the Curb. Of course, guys, thank you guys for requesting this video. Thank you for actually subscribing to Judas with Just Commentary. You guys have been awesome supporters, and we're getting there. We're getting closer to 100,000 subscribers, and it's because of you guys. Of course, we're gonna react to a video. This video is actually an English video, but I hope that you guys will enjoy it all. So this one is I felt nervous and worried. 12 boys coach inside trap inside the cave so basically it's a video about the boys who trap inside the cave and this one is by abc of course um so for those of you who are my english fans i know for sure that you guys will enjoy this one of course for my thai fans please stick around and i hope that you enjoy thank you so very much for your question like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to video leave a comment below thank you so very much let's go ahead let's see oh that is such a beautiful place and this is in According Thailand. to Thai legend, the lush, beautiful Doi wow. Nang Non Mountain in Chiang Rai province is inhabited by the spirit of a mythical princess. Oh. In fact, locals say that if you look closely, you can actually what? see the You're figure that, that's of the actually true. princess. Wow. And many of you fervently believe it's the spirit of the princess wow. that helped determine the fate of the boys' soccer team trapped deep inside the twisting caves of her mountain. The idea is. If she's happy, she will smile favorably and help a good outcome. Wow, that's a belief in Thailand, of course. Mm, massive place. Here on the outskirts of the fabled mountain, under the watchful eye of this majestic Buddhist statue, sits the soccer team's home district of Maesai. It's the very northernmost so district from in the Thailand, same place? located snug against the border with Myanmar. Wow, such a massive place. Such a big is a small but bustling community of over 21,000 souls. 21,000 temples and busy markets. I visited a local Maysai school attended by one of the soccer kids. The happy place. Also, they're not all American from the same Anderson school. Teaches English here. They seem really well mannered, well behaved kids. They are. They're some of the best behaved kids, you know, but they can play like all children. True, well, that makes sense, yeah. And just like children all over the world, kids in Maysai have a passion for soccer. I'm noticing Thailand that they all they all use uniforms, so they don't slightly ragged soccer come to school dressed the as they like they are. Thai for they have a uniform. Wards. The team is composed of kids from schools around the district, ranging ah. in age from 11 to 16. Okay, so kids from around the district. I in thought those like one wild school. Wild boars are ferocious and fierce. Is your team fierce? I've been trying to coach them to be brave and be strong, just like the name of the team. Were the wild boars any good? Wild no, boars. No. They didn't expect to win or lose. They just enjoyed doing what they love. Yeah, that's true. You just have to enjoy and what indeed, you love. The wild boars have a reputation as a cheerful, fun loving group. There's forward Dom, the leader of the group, oh. left winger Adul, known for his English speaking skill, wow. and the goalkeeper, irrepressible Biu. Smart student. And he's a very popular student. He's funny, you know, he likes to joke around. Wow. Day one, Saturday, June 23rd. This video was taken that fateful morning of the wild boars practicing out on the field. What? Posted on Facebook by their 25-year-old assistant coach known as Coach Ake. The boys used to practice on this soccer field a couple wow. of times a week. Wow, that is amazing. They left from here to go on that ill-fated trip to that cave, but not before first stocking up at this store. Now this That's is why they were asking for the bag taken with that food. Of the 12 boys and wow. Coach Ake making the roughly 45-minute bike trek up this road towards their destination. The Tam Long Cave Complex wow. nestled and they actually like video when mountain. they were leaving. This cave is enormous. It's not simply the mouth of it full of stalactites and stalagmites. It's five miles long. With wow, a under the ground. Right through it, pushing wow. right deep into the huge mountain range. Let's see. Two members of the wild boars who did not make the trip told 2020 that team excursions into the caves nothing unusual so, i've gone inside four times oh wow you've been in that cave oh, it's a times. common thing to go in the cave to go all the way in and then all the way out typically it takes about five or six hours depending on how far we walk inside was it scary at all when you went into the caves were you ever afraid inside because i know i would be no because when we visit the cave we all go together and bring plenty of flashlights and food 
Wow. And the boy so you see, it's not just about going there on a wing. They are accustomed to going into the cave. It's a common excursion. He's a kind person. He does things for others before himself. But awesome. other adults say they were unaware of those team expeditions to the cave. Did you know he ever took them in? Because apparently they did this pretty frequently. May, may, may. I never knew that they did this kind of activity after practice. Wow. I think it was, it, he generally just had a, 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 a way to go out and have fun and just to a rail turn and leaving behind their backpacks back. and soccer cleats before going inside. Later that day, the boys were supposed to gather at the home of teammate Pierpat to celebrate his 16th birthday. A cake is waiting for the occasion, but the team never arrives. Wow. So it's Pierpat also with the team? It turns out they are in the wrong place at, at the, the wrong, wrong time. time. Wow. It is the beginning of the rainy season, and sure enough, while they're in the cave, outside, Whoa. it begins to rain. Mercy! And rain hard. Shivering. As the hours pass without any word from the boys, anxiety deepens. At the time, I felt nervous and worried because the parents told me that the kids went missing and they couldn't reach them. Hmm. Anxiety turns to alarm when the coach finally learns of the team's trip to the cave. He rushes to the site, arriving at about 7 p.m., but the only trace left behind... Those Yo, I'm bags shivering. And shoes left at the front entrance. Wow. I was stunned and shocked because I know that cave, and if the water starts rising, the entrance is going to get completely blocked off. The only way in or out of the cave is now blocked by fast rising water. Wow. The soccer and team Thailand is have trapped. a lot of water. Of course, that video just come to an end there. I wish it had gone a bit longer, but no. Um, that is amazing. The fact that they had video recording, um, like enjoying themselves on the field, playing, and then their the, the journey there or their cycling, just a cycle route. Um, that's amazing. I, that's, that's actually great. I have never seen the video except now. Um, but they said it was uploaded by the coach. So that means it was uploaded before they actually went missing. Um, and also, they left the backpack out. That I don't know that's a common thing. Um, I mean, as was said in the video the young boy who was talking to the journalist said that um their custom of going in the cave he went four times he just you know to bring a lot of food and stuff so that means they didn't expect to get to stay long or they didn't expect to go too far because they actually left their backpack with their food outside so that means they may want to just you know have a see but not actually on an excursion excursion to go on that five hour trip or a um, walk so clearly it was meant to be like a short a view of the cave and then things just and so again the rain as I said but nonetheless we are so glad that they are found and I think it's a testimony to see how great the people of Thailand is and of course to show how much work can be done to improve the cave network to make sure that they know exactly what point or where someone might be in the cave maybe putting um, devices in the cave things to locate sensors stuff like that so I think at the end of the day it will turn out for good for visitors who come to Thailand to visit the cave or perhaps the people of Thailand. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with the cave, if they're going to block it off, or if they're going to try to improve the way in which they could find persons in there. Um, but of course, thank you for requesting this video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys. When the trumpet sounds, will you be ready to leave the ground, yeah? And when you hear his voice, will you say you made the right choice? Like a thief in the night, going in and out of my window. And when the time is right, it's coming again. No one knows the hour or the day it's going down But as sure as the sun will shine He'll reveal to all men he is divine The king of all kings oh so real I long to see your glory revealed Will you capture me in your rapture? Yahweh, I wanna 